तो द नेक्स्ट इज हाउ वॉल्यूम ऑफ ए वायर अफेक्ट द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द वायर वॉल्यूम मींस द एरिया एंड लेंथ ऑफ द वायर एंड सेकंड इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ रेजिस्टिविटी सो लेट मी टेक दिस वन फर्स्ट फर्स्ट सो लेट मी टेक ए वायर हैविंग सर्टेन लेंथ एल एंड इट्स क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया एज ए राइट सो द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस वायर वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू एरिया मल्टीप्लाई लेंथ सो दिस इज द वॉल्यूम volume is in meter cube right so we have a wire you you assume this is a copper wire right having 10 to the power 28 uh, electrons per meter cube right these electrons are free to move and they are doing inelastic collisions they are heating up the atoms they are heating up the wire right so we also know that uh, the heating of the wire basically uh, that is a resistance right so we know that the resistance is directly proportional to length of the wire right let me take this as equation 1 if we increase the length that will increase the number of atoms and the number of atom means more and more heating right because each and every atom while colliding with the electrons uh, uh, that get heated right so it means if we increase the length then there is a addition of uh, uh, more atoms more atom means more heating more heating means more resistance right and resistance is inversely proportional to the cross sectional area if we increase the diameter of the wire means the cross sectional area of the wire so in that case in that case the electron will get more space to move right wider the wire having the large cross sectional area means it's a type of the same situation if we have a wide road that it is easy for the traffic to move but if it is a congested road if it is a narrow road then the problem is that the traffic will move but with congestion with collisions right the vehicles they will touch and the possibility is that they can collide they can touch each other so same thing if the wider is the conductor then that will be easy flow for the electrons right easy flow means less resistance complex flow means more resistance so in this case the resistance is in direct inversely proportional to the area right okay so you can assume the concept of narrow road and the wide road right free flow of the traffic and uh, then congestion in the traffic right but if i combine these two equations so what i will get i will get r is uh, l upon a right r is directly proportional to Resistance is directly proportional to L and inversely proportional to A, right? If I combine one and two, but I need to change the directly proportionality with the mathematical operator, equality operator, right? So if I change with the equality operator, then I have to use a constant, right? Again, L upon A, <coughs> and this is a constant, constant of proportionality, constant of proportionality. This is a constant. Constant means for one particular material. right for this material the value is fixed this is constant for this material constant for this means for every material the value of this is constant right because the uh, this constant <coughs> is chosen only for this material so that's why for this material it is fixed means if we change l or a this will not change that is my point if i change l upon a l over a then resistivity this constant is known as resistivity of the material resistivity of the material there is another name to this resistivity this is known as specific resistance right or you can say it is a specific resistance <coughs> resistivity or specific resistance and this is a constant quantity for one particular material means by changing if i choose a 1 meter copper wire or a 10 meter copper wire the value of resistivity is fixed so in ib the value of resistivity that will be given given in a table form right you will given that right so no need to worry about that right so now uh, we will focus on this uh, resistivity later on but before that uh, let me take the part how volume of a wire affect resistance of the wire right how volume of the wire so let me take one question if i change length and area of a wire so how uh, the resistance will change right how the resistance will change so 
assume we have a wire we have a wire of length l and cross sectional area a right we know the resistance of this wire r is equal to rho l upon a clear and the volume of the wire is a multiply l that is equal to 1 we know all these things for this wire but if i double the length and what happens to the new resistance right if the length of the wire that is doubled means that becomes 2 well so the new length if the length of the wire is doubled so what is the new resistance r dash in that case right what happens so you see if the length is doubled if this length is doubled so to keep the volume constant right a has to be half right so by using this formula if i double the length if it is 2l then area has to half to keep the volume constant right so means what what do you mean by if uh, we are not adding another wire we are stretching it we are beating it we are increasing the length right by beating right so when i beat when i heat up means when i beat the wire and i just change it into double length <coughs> then the area has to half i am not adding another wire no what do you mean by the 2l 2l means by hitting the wire or by beating the wire or by any method we are just doubling the length so when we are doubling the length because we are not adding extra atoms we are not adding extra material right we are just beating the wire with a hammer right mechanically we are doubling the length mechanically we are doubling the length. so when mechanically we are doubling the length so to keep the volume constant because we are not adding the extra atoms so the volume will remain constant so what i will what i will do so the new resistance r dash that will be equal to rho it will not change because that is the property of the material this is the same material we are beating with the hammer right now l becomes 2l and a becomes a by 2 right so the new resistance r dash that will be equal to rho and this 2 will go up here right yeah. so this will become 4l upon a so r dash will be equal to i can take 4 outside and rho l upon a and this rho l upon a what is that rho l upon a that is the old resistance before beating right so the new resistance that will be equal to 4 times the old resistance so if we beat the wire mechanically and i double the length so what happens by doubling the length the area becomes four times right area becomes four times so i will say sorry the new resistance not the area so the new resistance new resistance becomes four times becomes four times the old resistance four times the old resistance right the new resistance that becomes four times the old resistance right let me take one more case like similar case similar case if i increase the area means if i double the area right for the same wire for the same wire right having a having l as the length resistance is equal to rho l upon a if the area the new area that gets doubled find the new resistance now area is doubled how we are doubling the area by beating again in a way so that uh, the length doesn't change <coughs> of course length will also change but our 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 intention is to wide it our intention is to change the area so when area doubled so definitely length has to reduce to half right you take the example of uh, a chingam if you increase the area it has to contract it has to reduce the length right so if area means to keep the volume is equal to a into l right if we double the area then length has to be half l by 2 to keep the volume constant v so the new length l dash that has to be l by 
right so now the new resistance new resistance that will be equal to rho new area divided by new length so r dash that will be equal to rho and what is a dash 2a and what is l dash l dash that is l by 2 okay so l by 2 again this will go up so r dash is equal to again 4 rho a sorry sorry reverse the formula is a mistake the formula is l upon a l dash upon a dash l dash is l by 2 and this is 2a right i put in a reverse order i put a by l actually it is l by a right so r dash that is equal to now this can be written as rho l upon 4a right l upon means i can take this 2a here right so this will become 4a now r dash that will be equal to i can write 1 by 4 and rho l by a 1 by 4 and rho l upon a this is the old resistance old resistance so i can write uh, the new resistance that is equal to 1 by 4th of the old resistance right so the new resistance that is equal to 1 by 4 of the old resistance so in this case if i double the area right in that case the resistance that will be reduced to half oh, sorry 1 by 4 okay Mika? no stop